Thanks for tuning in again, Rock Harbor. Today we concluded our series on a modern Malachi, and we looked at the end of chapter 3 and all of chapter 4. And one thing we learned last week and this week is that God is faithful. We also learned that God is deserving, and today we talked about the justice of God, that the wheels of God, the judgment wheels of God, grind slowly, but they grind ever so thoroughly. And then we concluded our book, our study, with, again, God's faithfulness. The three takeaways we've learned from the book of Malachi is, first of all, that God deserves our best all the time. If you'll recall, the priests and those in the, the priestly ministry were not giving God their best, and that trickled down to the, to the laity, the people in the, in the congregation, the worshipers. They were giving God the leftovers. And we learned that, you know, today, God deserves our best and nothing less. And then we also looked at a couple of weeks ago that God deserves our best and that what happens when we settle in for where we're at spiritually, that quenches passion. And our goal for 2015 is to reach the Central Coast for Jesus. And if our, if our passion is quenched because we've adopted a ho-hum settling in lifestyle, then that's going to impede upon our ministry. So we learned that you know just settling in, accepting the status quo, will, will quench passion which was what was happening in, in 430 BC with Israel. And then the last couple of weeks, what we've looked at particularly is that perspective guards your heart. When our perspective is on the eternal, when we put on eternal lenses, and we know that God is faithful, that God is worthy to be worshiped, that has a way of, of spurring up our heart to, to serve Him, to love Him, and to go about what He has called us to do. So we've had a great, great study in, in the book of Malachi. Thank you so much for going through it with us. We've looked at modern day America and some of the parallels there, and, and we're gonna pray. We're gonna continue uh, to pray for God's blessing on, on this country. Uh, next week on Sunday's Easter Sunday, we kick off a four week series on hope. And if there's ever anything that this world needs now more than anything else, it's to have a hope. And we know because of Easter morning, some 2000 years ago, Jesus rose from the dead, giving us the epitome of hope. And we're going to talk about that. So bring your friends, pray, and let's have a great resurrection season.